My name is Rocio Maraquin, and I am going to Indian Hills Community College for lasers. I actually graduated high school in 2008, and I went back to school in 2017. I always thought working a regular job was more important than attending school, so school was not my priority at all. I always thought going to school meant being broke, not having money. And then I had my son, and that's when it put things into perspective. Like, I don't want to work at retail, odd hours. My priority was money, 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 work, 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 which is a bad decision, because looking back now, I think I s wasted a lot of my life just working dead-end jobs. Working in a place, like just having a job, a nine-to-five job, you don't feel that good about yourself at times. You do this, you do that, like you get the hard jobs. So I just feel like school for me is, is very a very good thing for me personally. And that it gave me a lot of confidence. It made me think that I can accomplish things. If I, if I work hard at it, I can accomplish it. And I am accomplishing it and I will accomplish it. Coming May, I will graduate. That's really awesome to me because I didn't think I was really capable of that. I'm a single mom, I have a son. I have to make sure he has the time and attention. And I know I am setting an example for him. And I'm sure he's gonna be proud of me when I graduate. But in the end, I know it'll be worth it. You can go back to school. And sometimes you wanna quit, but never quit. Because if you quit, you're quitting on yourself. You're quitting on your future, on your family, on your opportunities that you may have. It's not what everybody else thinks about you. It's what you're getting out of this and what you're gonna accomplish for yourself, for your family, for your future. And if you like it, then go ahead and do it. If it means having a stable life in the future, what's stopping you except yourself?